Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to use and implement the accordion component in Ionic React. This was introduced in version 6 of the Ionic framework which we've had now for around a month. So we've had time to play with it and time to check out the new components. So without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into the code and show you how to implement this in Ionic React. Okay guys, so here we are in the code. On the right hand side here, I have a little test app set up where I'm gonna take you through how to implement the accordion. So the first example I'm gonna show you is just a simple implementation of the new accordion component using a list of items. And then I'm gonna show you how to implement it with an array of data, for example, an array of objects and dynamically build up our accordions from the array. So the first thing that we need is a component called the ion accordion group. So all of the accordions that we use within our page should be grouped within this parent component. So we can just write ion accordion group and import it from Ionic React. Then inside our ion accordion group is where our ion accordion is going to live. Now with the ion accordion, there are some customizations that are available. For example, the toggle icon and the toggle icon slot. By default, the Ionic component will give us an arrow toggle icon, which will animate as we click on the header. But for now, I'll leave that out. So we create an Ion accordion inside our group. Then the next thing that we need is some sort of header for the user to click to expand or collapse the content within the accordion. So for this, it's advised to use an ion item to make use of styling and theming across the component. So we can do this and then to tell the accordion that this is our header, we just say slot equals header. And then within our ion item, we can just create a label in here. And let's just say languages. And now if we save this, you'll see on the right hand side that we have a header called languages. We've also got this toggle icon by default. And if we click it, it will spin up and down as we collapse and expand our accordion. Now, if we come back into line 22 here and take a new line to create our content, the content area can be anything except another ion content component. For this, I'm gonna show you using a list and for the content area, we set a slot equal to content to tell the accordion that this is our content. Then within our list, we can just create some more ion items. So ion item, and in here, we can do an ion label with some languages. So you can see them starting to appear now. So let's just copy this item and paste in a few different languages in here. So we've got English, Spanish, Italian, that'll do for now. Now let's come over to the right hand side and now we can expand and collapse our accordion. And the content related to that accordion is held within that content area inside the list. And whenever we expand and collapse, it's basically just hiding and showing this. So the accordion is used to give you the ability to create collapsible sections, which saves a lot of vertical white space in your app. So you can hide away certain navigation or content under these expandable and collapsible headers. So it's really quite nice. It's a nice component to use. So that's the basic implementation of an Ion Accordion. We can have multiple Ion Accordions within the Ion Accordion group. So if I copy that and paste it and change this header to languages too, you can see that the accordion appears and they both interact with each other. So we can open the top one and it will close the second one and open the one that we've clicked on. So that, that is the basic implementation of the new accordion component. However, I will show you another way that we can do this. So I will leave all of this in here and I will comment this out from the Ion Accordion group. And I have created this accordion component this custom component and it's basically the same idea so at the top here we've got our ion accordion group i'm then looping over with a map over this topics 
array, which is coming from data, which I'll show you in a second. Then in the return, we're returning an ion accordion for each element in this array. We're setting a header based on the topic. So we're pulling out a topic icon, a topic color, a topic header to set the label. And then within our list, we've, we're setting the content again. And then we're looping around another array within this particular object element. And we're looping around these options. And these options are going to be our items in this case. And then we're pulling out the label here again. And for this specific example, I'm just showing you that you can set a router link because we're just using the ion item component within Ionic. We can supply a router link and route to a page. And I've just created a simple dynamic generic page to route to and pass the label in. So if I was to import this and let's just set it here and save that. You can see on the right hand side now that we've got a lot of accordions here. So attractions, dining, gaming, exercise, education. And if I show you the data, it's literally just an array of objects. And then the options is an array of objects again to hold the label for each ion item. The color is outlined within the, uh, the object within the array to set the color of the icon. The icon is set here and also imported from here as well. And also the router link works as well. So if we were to click on this ion item, it would take us to this generic page. And then we can go back to topics and we can click into bowling alley, for example, and back. So that, that's basically it, guys. That is the simple how to use and implement the new accordion component for Ionic version 6. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, give it a little thumbs up and let me know in the comments if this helped you out any. This was how to use the accordion component in Ionic React. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks.